So guys, there are multiple issues to get into Streets of Targo. I'm saying this because right now, whenever you scab into streets, there is a server connection loss issue. There are a lot of people who can't get in 100% and I gave them a couple of solutions and they started to get in. 50% of raids were actually getting in and 50% were getting connection loss or even they get fixed 100%. I think getting into streets have multiple other reasons, not only one reason, so you can't fix it with 100%. So you gotta fix some of the issues that you have and then you might get in if you weren't able to get in at all. If you try to scav in to streets, BSG has a problem himself, BSG problem. But before getting to this one, there might be an issue that you can fix. Your own self's issue overwrap to the BSG problem. But anyways, to fix these kind of issues and you might get in. You might get in. If you have this issue on, you're gonna have a lot less possibility to get into streets. So I'll talk about these solutions. I already posted one video, but I'm gonna talk about the, all the solutions you could try. I heard there might be an issue. If you try these problems, you can simply revert it. So if you guys feel like it's not working and it's, it's gonna damage your PC or something, you could just simply do the steps in the reverse order and then you'll be okay. You'll be back to your default situation. All right. So another method, except the MTU method that I talked about in the previous video. If you guys want to check out the video, do check out the previous video. I have a couple of things on that pinned comment. I'll talk about it real quick in this video first. So in this video, server connection loss possible fix video. I talked about more possible fix group scabbing. This immensely decreases the matching time too. Clearing your cache integrity check, deleting log files, usually fixes the most problem of Tarko task or server connection loss thing. Increasing VRAM usage. I don't think this one is really viable though. Some people were talking about this. So these were the commands. There's another thing we could talk about though. It's a Google DNS. So the logic in this idea is that Google DNS improves your web page. The speed and reliability is generally better with the public DNS like Google's rather than your default DNS servers. So it will definitely increase your performance on your web pages. However, why we're doing it in Tarkov is that Tarkov is a web page based game in the start. If you guys know about that history, I'm pretty sure they changed it a lot. They might have not have any more aspect of the web page game anymore, but still I heard the remains are still in the game. So this is why we're turning out DNS. And also, if you guys have played like PlayStations before, if you change the DNS to Google DNS, it becomes better. So th those were the whole idea I'm thinking. I think I need to tell you guys at least why we're trying this out. Changing your DNS to Google and also disabling IPv6 because it doesn't really do shit IPv6. But if you go to the control panel, you will have the network and internet, right? Go to the network and internet and view network status in the task and you will see the whole internet type you're using access type is internet with connection of ethernet 2 so that's that's my internet name it doesn't really matter it's not doxing or anything so press that thing and it will pop out this thing ethernet 2 status ipv4 connectivity and then ipv6 connectivity if you check out the properties some of them are in Korean, but you just got to find the IPv4 Internet Protocol version IPv4 Double click it and you will actually have this on This on But if you want to use the Google DNS press that and pr type in 8 8 8 8 8 8 4 4 There are a couple more Google DNS that you can utilize so you're basically using like Google server rather than the random other servers. That's what I know of. And some people got help from this solution. So you might want to check that out. And also disable the IPv6 uh, if you guys can. It doesn't do really well. I, I disabled it so you, you can already see it's been disabled. So that was another solution. And some people are talking about disabling MIP streaming will help you too. Because I already disabled my MIP streaming I'm pretty sure. Yep. Meep streaming doesn't do that much if you have low 
LOD quality selected already. And it blacks out your screen so bad right now. And a lot of people were talking about like, NVIDIA reflects lower latency, lowers your um, game performance a lot after a couple of rays. So, to check out those two. All right. Also, guys, it's really better to go in nighttime rays or unpopulated servers because it seems like the server connection loss is happening on populated servers. There's an interesting um, aspect though. I tried to scab into streets once and then it was perfectly fine. I got it in and I wanted to check this performance a little. So I restarted my PC after turning off the binaural audio. Binaural audio? Binaural audio? And then it disconnected me. Which was really odd. So... I think BHD needs to check on that aspect too. Anyways, yep. There's another info for the server connection lost. I hope they really fix it guys. I'm pretty sure this is the um, BSG's end, not our end. But still, you can try some stuff to, some things to actually get your games done and get your games working. That's my guess, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If it helped you out at least a little, please leave a like and do comment if it was successful. I'm pretty sure it won't fix everybody's issue, but I, I was getting uh, some successful shots from multiple people. Like, I'm not saying this with the guests because there were multiple people who were saying they weren't getting into the race 100%. And then they tried out these solutions and then they got in finally. So it does solve some issues for some people. Anyways, if you guys want to check me out on live stream, do check out twitch.tv barebassgav. And if you guys want to support me more, check out these videos too. And then check out the Patreon in the description. Doing the membership. Super thanks on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.